少ししながら死んでるあー楽しくないいやあつぴゅうつぴゅうつぴゅうつぴゅうえいあれゆすこそだファーをしぼう Well, it's a very complicated process, and I'll show you how. This is Apis willifera, otherwise known as the honeybee. It's the most common pollinator for angiosperms. This is a lily. It is also an angiosperm. We will be using it today because of its exposure to organs. This is the pistil, otherwise known as the carpal. It is the female sexual organ of the flower. This is the stamen, the male sexual organ of the flower. This contains pollen. This is the petal of the lily. It is used for attracting pollinators to get the pollen. This is another view of the lily that we are looking at. This is the receptacle of the flower. It's the part where all flower parts are attached. This is the pedicel. It is the stem of the flower and it holds the flower up. This is an enlarged view of the stem or the male sexual organ of the flower. This is the filament. The filament is a slender stalk that supports the anther. This is the anther. It's the structure that produces pollen and also. Keeps the pollen in place. This is pollen. It contains a germ nucleus and a pollen tube nucleus. This is Apis mellifera in action. Da -da -da. As, as Apis mellifera sucks down the nectar, the pollen sticks to its body. As it drinks nectar from another flower, the pollen it goes on to the pistil of the flower. Yummy, yummy. This is what it looks like inside the pistol. We will be using this to show how it works. This is the stick. It's the sticky top, top part of the pistol, covered with sugar to nourish the pollen. This is the style. It is a slender neck of a pistol, and it holds up the stigma. This is the ovary, and it becomes the fruit after fertilization. This is the microphile. It is an opening of the ovule through which pollen, the pollen tube will enter through. This is the ovule. It becomes the seed after fertilization. This is the egg. After fertilization, it will be morphed into the embryo. These are the synergids. They just wither and die. After fertilization, they are unfertilized eggs. This is the polar nuclei. It, it will form with a sperm and turn into cotyledon. These are the antipodals. They absorb into the cotyledon. We're not sure exactly what their function is, but we have much love. This is a pollen grain. Notice how the pollen grain is enlarged because it is usually microscopic. This is the outside of the pollen. It fits into the into the stigma like a key fits into the lock. This is the germ nucleus. It will split in to form two sperms for the egg and the polar nucleus. This is the tube nucleus. It forms the pathway for the sperm to travel to fertilize the egg. This is a sperm. Notice how there are two because it, the germ nuclei was split in half. This is the pollen tube. It's the pathway for the sperm to travel that fertilizes the egg and the polar nuclei. This is it in action. Notice how the pollen tube is really big and it's trying to go through the microbiome and then it forms. It's alive! Oh, you're such a fart smeller. I mean, smart fella. Hey, you can't call me a fart smeller. Yes, I no, can. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, yes, I can.